Guys, welcome to our home. Uh, today we're celebrating the beginning of Christmas and the whole holiday season. And I invited uh, my friends uh, Jason and Naomi to come teach us how to make coquito. Coquito is a Puerto Rican version of uh, eggnog. So, tell us the story about coquito. Well, like you said, coquito is a traditional, um, pretty much spiked eggnog. Um, Puerto Rican tradition during during the holidays. Um, my husband here that is not Puerto Rican has pretty much mastered it. But everyone thinks he's Puerto Rican. Boricua. <clears throat> he swears he's Puerto Rican. Um, but he has mastered it um, with a little help of me. Yes. With a lot of help from me, babe. So there's some, there's some cool ingredients. So when when the holiday season comes along, you get your eggnog eggnog lattes. You get eggnog at the 7-Elevens and whatnot. I don't think people know what really goes in there but it's a tasty treat. For me growing up, eggnog uh, was a really uh, interesting drink. My uncle, one of my oldest uncles, would always bust out the, the spiked eggnog and he would get all the little kids kind of drunk. So it was, I was always looking forward to, to being a little kid, kind of being naughty and like, oh my God, my uncle's gonna give me eggnog and get a little, get a little buzz on as a little kid. I don't have a drinking problem, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, coquito is very different. So what, what, what are the ingredients that make coquito different from regular eggnog? Well, I don't know what's in regular eggnog, but I can tell you what's in coquito. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us what's in coquito. What are the ingredients and what's the recipe? Um, traditional egg, uh, coquito is um, condensed milk, um, evaporated milk, egg yolks, um, Coco Lopez, um, a lot of rum, um, eggs, cinnamon, and I said egg yolks. Oh, you did. Um, nutmeg. That's that's not so much traditional. That's something that oh, he's he added putting, on there. And he's also added a little bit of um, allspice. Allspice. All right. That's but good. you can mix it up. You can do right. what you want to do. Uh, co coquito, Christmas drinks, hot, cold. How do you drink it? Cold. Definitely cold. 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 All right. No longer it sits, the better it gets. Let it marinate. All right. Now, home, homemade coquito. I've had it. My first experience with coquito was because of you guys. And, woo, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Be careful. Nope. The thing will catch up to you and sneak up on you before you know it. You're talking to God, right? So, mm -hmm. all right. Do you garnish it with anything? Do you put or just drink it straight up? Rocks? What? What's the best way to serve it? I'd say you garnish it with like a little splash of or a little tad of uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon over the top. Over the top. Over the top. Or maybe cinnamon, like, in like a, cinnamon sticks. Maybe with cinnamon, cinnamon stick, stick or like in a martini glass with a little bit of cinnamon Ooh, over the top. Man, you're fancy. Just to just All to right. dress it up. So if you want to dress it up, a little martini glass, a little garnish of cinnamon, maybe a little. Cinnamon stick. stick. Yeah. All right, guys. I agree. So, coquito, and it's best enjoyed amongst friends and family, right? Amongst friends and All family. All right. So, we're gonna go into it. These guys are gonna show you guys how to make coquito and make it at your house and tell us how it goes. It's already. We're gonna start with the water. We do three, uh, two and a half, almost three cups of water. Pour it in there. A mid to medium boil, right? Then we're gonna step in here next and we're gonna grab the cinnamon sticks. We're gonna do two sticks of cinnamon. Drop those in there. Let that boil for a little bit. Basically what'll happen is that the cinnamon will release and then uh, the water will turn a little bit like a tint yellow and then we'll go from there. Um, we don't have any nutmeg, which is my tip to put into the coquito, but we're gonna use mole spice, which is pretty much like a nutmeg. So we're gonna do a couple dips of that. And another little tip of mine, I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon to this to get it going quickly. And then we'll let that boil for about five minutes. What was the one food that like set off for Christmas? Time? Okay, this is cliche, but it's tamales. 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 Tamales, man. Oatmeal cookie. Maybe uh, arroz con leche. Arroz con leche. I could remember that in the December. Flavor. Yeah, arroz cinnamon. con leche. Oh, that brought back a memory. 
Red pudding. Red pudding. Yes. Red pudding. Tell us about the red pudding. Red pudding. Ooh. Basically what we're doing here uh -huh. is we're steeping all the seasonings out of the water uh -huh. and directly putting the water back into the bowl. So what we'll do here is we'll put the bowl back on there. We'll take this off, set this off to the side, put this back into the bowl, and this water will begin the process. So in the process right now, we have the cinnamon, the, the allspice, and a little bit of uh, actual cinnamon uh, sticks in here. We've taken that out. Now we're gonna add in the condensed milk right here. And then we're gonna mix this on in. Get that out. Mix that in. Set for a second. And we'll put in the cocoa. Let me come with the cocoa and then say So now we're gonna go ahead. pour three cups of uh, the crack in here. I think we're about right there. I'm gonna pour and stir at the same time. So this should add a, a dark spice to it. Um, almost like a vanilla uh, brown sugar taste to it. And then we're gonna do one part white. This is gonna soften the blow just a tad. Smooth it out just a little bit, so you're not being over, overdone with the dark. So we'll let this sit here for probably about a minute or so, let it come to a boil. We'll stir it one more time and then we'll start to bottle. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 look at that paint. Look at that paint. This bottle right here. This bottle right there. Hey, what's the stuff called? Do you like it better warm or cold? Cold. 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 So do we have to wait? From everyone at Agent Prolific and all from our friends and family to yours, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Go, Go Fito! Fito!